What is going on guys? It's your boy Tor Crunch and today we will be taking a look at the brand new Howley Bell that just dropped a couple of days ago. We're going to be taking a look at three different builds, level 200. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. The first build we will be rocking is the strong attack damage build. As you guys can see, I've got all the character links and the accessories I have. I am going to be using on her. And as you can see, we've got an extra 90% strong attack damage with nice spiritual pressure increase. Not the greatest, but pretty nice increase. And as you guys are seeing for yourself, the strong attack damage is very nice. It's um, This is up against the Holly Bell raid itself. So, so she's going up against herself. Oh no, this is my Yuri. We're going up against the Mayuri raid. So we've got the attribute advantage. And as you guys can see, the 3000 per strong attack. And it hits like two or three times. That second strong attack, holy, is it is it <laughs> is it not freaking beautiful? I think it looks so sick. Um, let's keep it going. Here we go on. Um, okay, we go on to the next room. Uh, I, there's a couple of things I want to mention about her. When I first got her, I thought you know she didn't have the greatest the greatest um, increase or like the greatest improvement when it comes to moves. I felt like they were kind of the similar, a uh, similar uh, set of uh, moves that she had from her previous card, which was the power attribute that that was released a long time ago, which is still very good to this day. Um, but I mean, I I got I looked into it a little more. I started using her, and I am in love, boys. And not, it's not for reasons you might think I'm in love with. Uh, I really really like her. Her normal attack string, you've got that range that she's got. She does have a, a, normal, a, strong, a skill that does increase that. So that's why she's got that really nice range. Uh, but then she also has strong attack range. So the range on her normal attack and strong attacks are amazing. They're a very nice increase. That first strong attack is a very, it's like, it's a huge, it's got so, such big range. And it's, a, it's, it's her first strong attack. And it's got a lot of damage, which is awesome. If anything, the the strong attack that I feel like is the maybe the one with the the biggest flaws is maybe the second strong attack, just because you've got to get quite close uh, to the enemies. You got to get kind of close to the enemies in order to really hit everyone, and it's like something that gets everyone around her, um, which is nice. It's nice, and it hits quite hard as well. But I it, it, I think it can hit up to like two or three times, and I find myself only really hitting the enemy once, just because of the the range it does have. But um, other than that, everything else is amazing about her. Normal attack string is not the quickest, but it's got so much range that it just makes up for everything for the for the speed that it might lack a little. But it's not even that much of it's not that noticeable. Um, her strong attacks really nice. Uh, that first one I, I I'm in love with. It's like it reminds me a lot of uh, White from from uh, that you know from the global banner, uh, the White Ichigo, but. I, th I think she's got slightly more range and I think a little bit more power um, a really good option if you weren't able to get the Ichigo here we go ahead and check out her special which is one beastly looking ass special just take a look at that look at that look at that look at that and then look at the damage we did have a tension tie on her but still boys that was crazy damage that was insane damage if I had to give her a ranking for this build, I'm gonna have to roll with a, I'm gonna go with a nine out of 10, just because it's got such great damage overall when it comes to strong attacks and normal attacks. So that right there is the strong attack damage build, nine out of 10. The second build we will be taking a look at is the normal attack damage build. And as you guys can see, we've got a bunch of attack increase from that Chappie, and then we've got a uh, two other accessories with 30 attack so uh, and then an additional 25 25 25 natalings which adds up to 75 normal attack damage increase which is very nice and as you guys can see look at that damage uh, she's she's inflicting really nice damage at around 5,000 or so um, the reason I love it is just the range man the range she's hitting from is just insane I love the range she's got um, I don't we don't have the the killer effect so 
you know, if we were going up against what is it, uh, captains? Uh, when I think when we get up against the boss, if she, wait no, she, we, this is the Holly Bell one. If we would have went up against the Mayuri, you guys would notice the difference. It's around like I think it's about seven thousand damage, which is very nice, right? It's very nice, but um, even still, this dam this normal attack damage build is quite good itself. Um, just that range. She reminds me a lot of a Genjo, right? She's kind of like Genjo, but she's the speed Genjo with slightly better stats and uh, a better soul link because she gets that 20% strong attack damage link, uh, which I think is more useful in, in variety of ways, in, 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 in bigger varieties of ways, you know, she's good with, it's a good PVP and PVE link. Um, but yeah, man, this, this, this build is awesome. As you guys can see that her strong attacks are perfect for crowd control. She just uses those strong attacks and then she goes in with her normal attack damage and it's just awesome. I love her normal attack string. It works perfect. It just, it's one of those, it, she's one of those characters that just feels good with this, uh, with a normal attack damage type build. Um, uh, yeah, man, there's not much more to say about this build. I would uh say that it's not as great as maybe like the strong attack damage just because you get both you know with both uh normal attack damage and strong attack damage um i'm kind of i'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm excited to show you guys the hybrid build just because she is uh that, that that type of character her stats and skills really do uh focus towards both having strong attacks and normal attacks so the hybrid build is obviously going to be the best build in my opinion uh but this is not a bad option as well so if you've got some chappies if you got a gold chappy a gold speed chappy i would definitely give her a shot i think she could definitely hit up uh close to around like seven to eight k if you got a gold chappy with a nice secondary but here we go up against the boss it is up against Hel holly bell so we don't get any attribute advantage i mean not any killer effect advantage but um just take a look how quick we actually do take care of her. Oop, I almost ran in there into the into the special, but look at that damage, boys. She puts in damage, boys. Like she's actually a very very strong character. Here we almost get hit again, but we go ahead and dodge it, and then we just we just take care of her. Um, this build is great, guys. I I wouldn't say it's the best. It's not the best thing you can do when it comes to this character, but I will say it's a very viable viable build. I would go ahead and give it a eight out of ten. And in with the last build, we've got the hybrid type build. As you guys can see, we've got both normal, uh, we've got attack and spiritual pressure increases, 36% normal attack damage, 54% strong attack damage, and 20% recharge time. So uh, we've got the hybrid going here. As you guys can see, look at that normal attack damage hitting about 3,000, and then strong attacks about 2,700, and it hits about twice, two or two to three times. Um, yeah, you guys see that. You see that, man. She's getting rid of enemies super quick. It's almost not even fair. <laughs> We're going up against it. Like we, like I said, we don't have any attribute advantage. She does have it up against captains, uh, the advantage. So, I mean, she might be like what you guys see here. She might actually be a very even better PvP character just because you know she's got that attribute. I mean, killer effect, which is always nice to have that captain effect. Um, what, what is it? Forty percent, I believe. I believe it's forty percent. I might be wrong. Um, sorry about not having all the numbers like for the skills, just because. I wasn't able to get it. Bleach FY is just tripping, man. It's not working, and I, I think they're working on it. So, hope they get that up soon. It's it's a lifesaver, and uh, I know I, I know you guys can work around it. Um, you guys see everything. You know you know what kind of skill she's got. I do want to mention before uh, the video ends, actually, that she's got really nice strong attack damage and normal attack damage increase. I believe normal attack damage is 30%, and strong attack is 40% increase. So, although she doesn't have frenzy like her first version did uh back in the, the first power attribute holly bell she does have frenzy but the thing about it is that this character has really 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 upgraded stats and her skills her uh what is it berserker and bombard no not bombardment berserker and bruiser those two have great increases with the 40 strong attack and 30 normal attack so uh very nice increases they really did a great job on her she's a really well balanced character um, if you didn't get Ichigo, I already mentioned that. If you didn't get the new Ichigo, new second year anniversary Ichigo, this character might be just as good. Um, of course, they have different types of play style. He's more like, you know, he's got charged up strong attack. His third strong attack, he's a ranged character. 
but she's a really 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 good boss killer so i'll tell you that right now she is a better uh boss killer as you guys will see right right here we go ahead and of course um one shot holly bell so um yeah man there you guys have it that's holly bell um let me know what you guys think about her if you guys were able to get her what your th first thoughts are on her and um if you are on global are you looking to get her next month i think she's a great character i told jennifer she wasn't she, she was not able to get second year anniversary ichigo i told her you know what save up your orbs go for this character because this character is actually very 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 good so um yeah and i advise everyone else as well that's looking to to upgrade their speed characters this is a very good character to go for um with that said though i hope you guys enjoy i do work very hard on these type of videos just to create all the templates and just have the the, the stats and skills it does take a little longer than my than other videos so if you guys could please help me out with uh hitting the like button and subscribing if you are new it does help out a lot and um yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow or sometime in the very near future. There will be a level 200 Ukiora review coming out. I'm taking a little bit more time on that just because I want it to be the best review I've ever done. Uh, just because he's my favorite character of all time. Anyways, I love you guys. You guys take care. And please be glad. Be happy for one another. Uh, don't be so salty because you know what? step ups happen once a year and there's no reason for for you to be so bitter about others you know focus on yourself and, and good karma will come to you and you will get good 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 good, good characters good pulls anyways i'm done talking i'm done rambling this video is long enough you guys take care and i'll see you guys in the next one